What's up and welcome to another episode of It's Tipped Up Fishing. My name is Keaton Ditchfield and today we're going to try and catch some tiger fish. I don't know much about tiger fish. I know a few things and hopefully that'll be enough to catch a tiger fish. So, without any further talking and kakprat as they say, let's try and catch some tigers. There was a guy fishing here yesterday and he caught on chicken hearts, which is a great bait apparently, which is also awesome because I don't have any. Uh, but what I do have are chicken and viennas. So I've got a chicken vienna and a bass hook. I should have a trace about that long, a little wire trace, a thin gauge wire, but I don't have that either because I didn't bring any. Nice move, Keaton. I'm here on a family holiday. We're looking at the Kruger Park and yeah, I didn't prepare for tiger fishing. I didn't expect it. So what I have here is a chicken, uh, a small chicken sausage, little vienna, nice processed meat uh, because it's chicken and chicken heart work so maybe that'll work and then I also got some bacon why did I choose bacon I chose bacon because bacon is nice and oily so I'm putting on a bit of bacon as well so a nice rounded bait the chicken vienna is nice and soft and the bacon's a bit more robust so that is what I've got just that lovely little bait and Hopefully, that catches me a tiger fish or a barbel. I wouldn't mind, that'd be fun. But I have caught a barbel and I haven't caught a tag tiger fish. So, let's catch tiger fish. So, from the moment I put my rod in the water, it was a very frustrating process simply because. I was an inexperienced angler in terms of tiger fishing and I had to pay my dues. So what would happen over and over again is I would get this screaming take but it was very short and very powerful and I would just be too slow to the take like now. I get a bite, strike and nothing's on the end. So I'd cast in again and again trying to figure out what I was doing wrong. Oh, I've never felt anything like it. Yeah, it feels like a log that's fighting back. Poof, gone. So I was super frustrated because I just didn't know what was going on under the water and why I was missing so many fish. So I've got to say I'm super grateful that I had the Spydro underwater camera. It literally is my eyes under the water because even though I didn't know what was happening under the water at the time, I now know exactly what's happening because the spider captured it all. So next time I go tiger fishing, I'm going to make sure this doesn't happen again. What a knob. If you'd like to see a full review on the Spydro or get a 10% discount on the Spydro, both links are in the description below. So to add insult to injury, I had a terrapin turtle who decided that my chicken heart was nice and delicious. Unfortunately, there was nothing I could do to prevent catching this little guy, but once I've caught him, it's my responsibility to look after him, get that hook out of him, and release him safely. Now, unfortunately, it is part of fishing. You are going to catch things you don't want to catch, so when you do, just look after those things put them back as safely as you can and hopefully this little terrapin turtle will remember not to eat the damn chicken hearts. So I did not give up and I kept on trying and luckily my perseverance paid off. go my first tiger fish what a beaut oh what a fish now because you don't want to put them back they, they need to get they need to be released pretty quickly so 
just like that and it's off like a rocket. Yeah. I couldn't be more chuffed if like if it was my birthday, you know? So I finally got my hands on a chicken heart. I did get bites on the uh, bacon, I had lots of bites, but I didn't know what to do really. So I put my rod down like a carp fishing rod and I'd get these hell of a takes. It was taking harder than I've ever, ever seen a rod get pulled off of a, a bank stick, but then I wouldn't get there in time. So the learning curve was I've got to hold the rod in my hand so that as the fish runs, I strike really hard. And I mean really hard. So this is the rig. I've got a running sinker, a little bit of weed on my fingers. This is a running sinker that's supposed to be running. There you go, running sinker. A tiny little uh, swivel and about a foot and a half of 20 pound fluorocarbon. Then I've got a small size, I'd say six hook and I hook it on just like that. Just like, can you see it? Wait for it, there. Just like that. Nice and simple. That's all it is. You cast it in, hold your rod, and then you wait for what feels like you've attached your line to a car. And then strike really hard, and do not let that line go slack, because I lost one, and the line was slack. Oh no! <laughs> no! Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Yeah. Was it? Oh, ah. you know. So, that is a bit of a stuff up, but that's how simple the rig is. Sliding sinker, swivel, 20 pound fluorocarbon, and a hook. Nice and easy. What I'd suggest is having a little bit of, of um, wire trace as well, if you have. So that is it for this episode of It's Tipped Up Fishing. I caught a tiger fish, yes! Please remember to like, share, comment, do all those cool things, and remember to subscribe if you haven't already i've got new content coming out almost every week that's how to guides vlogs reviews all those cool cool things thank you so much for watching if it wasn't for you guys watching it's tipped up fishing it's tipped up fishing wouldn't exist so i owe you guys everything thank you so much until next time tight lines guys <laughs>